Hello and welcome to this Mindful Knits Beginner's Knitting Tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create this, the garter stitch washcloth. This is a perfect project for beginners because the garter stitch includes only one stitch, the knit stitch, and repeats the whole way through. In this tutorial, we'll show you the supplies you need and how to complete all four steps for this project, casting on, knitting, casting off, and weaving in your loose ends. For this washcloth, you'll need one 50 gram ball of cotton yarn, size eight five millimeter circular needles, a yarn needle, and some scissors. Let's start with the yarn and the circular needles. Unravel three four arm lengths of yarn. Three four arm lengths of yarn. So one, two, three. Now we're going to create a slip knot. A slip knot is how you start any knitting project. We're going to make a loop with our yarn and push yarn through this loop from the back and then pull it through and adjust. It should be easy to adjust. I'm going to unravel this so I can show you one more time. Make a loop, push yarn through the back, pull, and adjust. There's your slip knot. Now you can grab your circular knitting needles and take one needle in each hand. Put your right needle through the slip knot. The yarn that's not connected to our ball is called the tail, and the yarn that is connected to our yarn ball is called the working yarn. Now we're going to start putting our first foundational row on our needles by doing what's called the cast on method. With your needle in your right hand, take your left hand, wrap it around the yarn that's coming off the needle, take your forefinger and thumb, and separate that yarn, and pull your needle to the front of your hand to create a V shape. I'll show you this two more times. Wrap your hand around, use finger and thumb to separate, pull needle to the front to create the V. Wrap your hand around, finger and thumb to separate, pull a needle to the front to create the V. Great job. Now we're gonna cast on 39 stitches. I'll do this slowly and multiple times. It takes a while to get the hang of it. We're gonna take our needle under our thumb loop, over our finger loop, pull our finger loop through the thumb loop, let go of your thumb, and pull to tighten. So again, we're gonna Grab our yarn, separate with the finger and the thumb, pull our needle to the front to create the V. Put our needle under the thumb loop, over the finger loop, finger loop through the thumb loop, and pull to tighten. You don't want to make it too tight. Again, separate, make the V under the thumb loop, over the finger loop, through the thumb loop, pull to tighten. Under thumb, over finger, pull through thumb loop, pull to tighten. Under thumb, over finger, pull through thumb, pull to tighten. Under thumb, over finger, pull through thumb, pull to tighten. Now continue to do this till you have 39 stitches on your needles. Now that you've cast on 39 stitches, we're ready to start knitting. Take the needle with the yarn dangling off of it into your left hand. Take the empty needle into your right hand. Push the stitches closer to the front of your left needle, but make sure that the stitches don't fall off. 
Now let's arrange our yarn so that we can start knitting. Put your tail out of the way toward the back and keep your working yarn on your right. Let's make our first knit stitch. Take your right needle and push it through the bottom of the first stitch on your left needle. Now hold on to it with your left hand and grab your working yarn and wrap it around your right needle. Now you're going to pull that working yarn through the first stitch on your left needle and pull the first stitch off your left needle. Again, this is going to take some getting used to, so it's easy to get frustrated, but follow along. We'll get through this. Push through the first stitch on your left needle, wrap around your right needle, pull and pull off the stitch on your left needle. One more time, we're going to push our right needle through the first stitch on our left needle, wrap our working yarn around our right needle, pull it through the stitch, and pull the stitch off our left needle. Push, wrap, pull through, and pull off. 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 Now repeat this till the end of the row. The great thing about the garter stitch cloth is that you're quite literally repeating the knit stitch the entire way through. It may seem very frustrating at first, because you do have to practice holding the yarn and holding the needles, making sure that your stitches don't fall off the needles. It takes time, it takes patience, but once you master the knit stitch, you're practically unstoppable. Finish off this row, and then we'll meet you at the end so that we can start a new row. Congratulations, you finished your first knitted row. Now we're going to start our next row by taking the needle that has the yarn dangling off of it into our left hand, and the empty needle into our right hand. Push the stitches closer to the front of your left needle, but make sure that they don't fall off. All these steps should seem very familiar to you. They're the same steps we took when we started our first row. Now we're going to knit our second row. Keep your tail out of your way, keep your working yarn to your right, and continue this process. Knit a stitch. The first stitch on any new row is the trickiest because you want to make sure that it doesn't fall off. Put your needle through the stitch, wrap around, pull, and pull. Continue knitting every stitch in this row and then every stitch in every row until your project measures 9 inches or your desired length. Okay, here's our washcloth. We knit every single row until we hit 9 inches. You can measure your washcloth with either a measuring tape. Here we have 9 inches length by 9 inches width, so we have a 9 inch square. Or you can simply fold one corner to the other on the diagonal to make sure that you have a square. Now we'll move on to our next step which is called casting off. In this step, we'll knit our project off our needles so that it's finished nicely and neatly. Pick up your project as if you're beginning a new row. Push the stitches closer to the front of your left needle, making sure that they don't fall off. Now you're going to knit one stitch. Knit another stitch. Now you have two stitches on your right needle. We are going to pull the first stitch over the second stitch on our right needle. Then let that first stitch go. Knit another stitch. Pull 
pull the first stitch over the second stitch on your right needle. Knit another stitch. Pull the first stitch over the second stitch on your right needle. As you can see, these stitches are being cast off your knitting needles and creating a nice, neat, closed edge on your washcloth. Continue casting off your remaining stitches until you get to the last stitch in the row. Once you've reached your final stitch, we can move on to the final step, which is weaving in our ends. Grab your scissors and cut so that you have about 6 inches of yarn remaining on your knitting needles. Grab your plastic yarn needle and weave the end of the yarn through the head of your plastic yarn needle. Carefully remove your knitting needle from the final stitch. Weave your plastic yarn needle through the final stitch and tighten. Now here comes the easy part. There's no wrong way to do this. Weave the yarn through the edge of your knitted washcloth back and forth to fasten this loose end. Here we weave our yarn in one direction, then we weave our yarn back in the reverse direction, And then we weave our yarn in the forward direction again, make a knot, and cut the end. Now we weave in the tail end of our yarn. Again, weave in one direction. Then the other direction, and reverse back and forth until you've secured your yarn. Make a knot. and clip off the remaining yarn. There you have it. Here is your garter stitch washcloth. It's perfect to gift to yourself or a loved one, machine washable, durable, and extremely soft and gentle. We hope you enjoyed learning how to create this washcloth. Happy mindful knitting.